Hello and welcome to the first tutorial in the Cocos 2DX Flappy Bird C++ series. I think you can guess what this series is going to be. It's going to show you how to create a Flappy Bird game. Okay, so this part of the series will just be an overview. We're not really going to be doing any code. This tutorial seems you have set up Cocos 2DX and implementing multi-resolution support. If you haven't, don't worry, there'll be a link to the playlist in the description. Also make sure the game is set to portrait mode. We'll actually also provide some source code as well, basically what we've done as the base code, so you can use that. Plus also you'll get the links to the tutorial, so you can do it via that. Okay, so we're going to be creating a simple Flappy Bird clone with some custom assets. The game can be used as a good foundation to create future games, as it will provide the general flow and building block for a more complex game. All the assets have been already included, which is the images and audio files. These will be available to download basically via the source code link in the description. And these are here, so like background, ball. This is basically going to be the player. A lot of these are just placeholders. This tutorial isn't to really show you amazing artwork or anything like that. It's just to show you how to create a Flappy Bird playing game and some artwork we just quickly made in Photoshop and some are from some of our other games like Globebreaker so you'll be getting access to those. Okay so we will show you how to create a splash screen, a main menu, the gameplay plus a game mode screen then we will wrap all of this together show you how to connect them and also the best ways to abstract some of the features so for example you're gonna have a player which in Aaron says it's going to be a ball. We'll probably abstract that. We're going to have pipes that are scrolling and spawning. We're going to abstract that to different classes instead of us having one big file, basically the game scene. So that is an overview of what this series is going to be about. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at creating the bare bone scenes. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.